Hey guys, it's Leo. So, I'm actually gonna be doing a nail video today. Yeah, so before I start this video, I'd like to say a couple things. First, let me check if my door is closed. Yes, I... Yes, I don't like making videos when my door is open. But anyway, so I'd like to say that if this video does get people who are watching it, which I don't know if it will, I'd like to say that, yes, I'm a guy. I'm painting my nails. I'm sorry if that offends you. No, no, I'm not sorry. But like, I think that nails are art, and art is for anybody. It doesn't have to be a gender, or nothing should really be for a gender. That's a whole nother story. Anyway, um, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be actually going over certain types of nail polishes, which are the best. I'm not made of money, so don't expect me to have like expensive nail polish. I just actually just got big peel off base coat from will that focus no that won't focus i got big peel off knit base coat it's really good um if you would for some reason need that but you won't anyway i love it because it peels off and off it's not the best peel off base coat but it works it gets the job done and you don't have to use acetone which ruins your nails as you can see mine are in really bad shape yeah, I'm bad at focusing. Someday I'll get better at this and I'll figure out how the autofocus on this camera works. But for now, I don't really know it. It might not be in focus. Anyway, it's glue-based, so it smells like glue. It basically is Elmer's glue in a bottle, but it's a little better because it dries faster. It takes a while to dry, longer than normal nail polish, but you know, it does the job. But I don't have any other base coats except... Well, I... Oh, here it is this nail miracle growth. Um, I do it so I can toughen my nails. It doesn't actually make your nails grow anything more than all. It says it does, but it doesn't really. Maybe a little, but not much. All it does is toughen my nails, and I filed this nail way too low, if you can tell. Um, so it hurts like heck, and I was hoping this would toughen it. It sort of does the job. But that's all for the normal. Anyway, for normal nail polishes, my favorite brand is actually Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. I'll show you the clear top coat. It dries in 30 seconds, and I, I, for everything, I use this clear top coat. It's the best. It has the best consistency ever. It dries like gel, literally like gel, and it dries so quick. It just dries in 30 seconds, like, mm -mm, let me focus that. It dries in 30 seconds, and it really works good. Like, really good. Like, my favorite. Um, uh, I actually don't have my nails painted, except this thing, which is really crappily done. I didn't take it off because I actually didn't, these have been on for like two days, didn't have to peel off. It is in peel off base coat. Um, uh, but Instagram is so good, and they have really good colors, like sea blue. Don't know if you've heard of that color. Probably not. Um, it's very, it, di it dries so quick. I love it. And then there's this pearlescent white, which is Awesome, but it dries. It takes forever to dry. My camera keeps shutting off, and I don't know why. I have gold also. It's also very nice. Yeah, I have gold also. Um, then hot pink, but it actually glows. Like, it turns purple. Okay, and then I just have this green one. But anyway, this is the boring part. So... In the future, you can expect me to be painting my nails, actually, for you guys, but right now I don't have this set up, and plus, it'll take a while, so right now I'm just showing you all my nail favorite nail things. Next, I actually really like OPI. I know this one's very expensive. It's like eight bucks, but it's worth it. It dries pretty quick, too. It's got a great brush. I love the brush on these. Some of them are different, but, like, it is the best. The best color is this one. It is blew my mind. Oh, blew my Oh, I'm sorry. That got me so like, and then, the, oh yeah, this dries like a, um, gel top coat. Way just back. Skip that part. Anyway, their white is, out of all the whites, it is the best white I've ever had. I love it. Okay, let me just, I'm sorry. <laughs> This one I messed up a while ago. I was trying to make it matte by putting flour in it, but apparently you're supposed to use baking soda. I think I'll do a, oops, a DIY on that because you can actually make any color you want matte, but it also ruins it if you do it wrong. It'll make it chunky and gross. I have their top coat. However, I do not like their top coat because it dries so thin. 
so thin and it takes a while to dry but not too long it's just so thin like it doesn't really protect you anymore from anything that's why I don't like it but I know it's a top coat and that's what they're supposed to be but I don't like thin top coats it drives me nuts my friend Brenna I'll leave her link in the description actually for real this time gave me this sinful colors I <clears throat> I what <laughs> I'm disgusting sometimes, I'm sorry. I love it. It is the best ever. Love, love, love. Then I stole these color mates. I've never heard of them. I'll try to see if I can find a link. Best. This is my second favorite nail polish. Above OPI, but under InstaDry. It dries pretty quick, too. It's gold. I don't like the gold as much, but the red's amazing. Um, I like them. They're like the InstaDry. They dry quick, but this red is so opaque. It's not even funny with one thing. It's just... The best. It is the best. Like, I can't even. Next, there is Essie. Do I have a bone to pick with them? I don't know how everybody loves them. It takes forever to dry for me. Like, I will put it on an hour. It'll take an hour to dry for me, if it dries. And it dries so gross. It looks like a kid did my nails. Like, it shrinks and stuff. It's gross. I hate it. It's expensive, too. Some people like it, and if it works, like I said, or I haven't said this yet, these might work for some people. It really just depends on the batch. Sometimes they make different batches of it, and, like, they don't mean to make them much different, but they really are, and it just depends. It's a great color, and if it worked great, it would be nice, but it just looks like a kid when I wear it. Like, I look like a kid I painted my nails. Um, and if my nails aren't perfect, I will hate them. I will, I change my nails daily. That's why they're so bad. But now that I have this peel-off base coat, I'm, I'll let you guys know how that works. I'm actually really excited to see how that works myself. Anyway, salon perfect. So this, I thought, oh, this will be pretty. I have gotten hot pink salon perfect too, and it worked great. It was matte. The thing about these is they're like three bucks, but they, I didn't focus. Oh, they work for about a, a week then they get really chunky and gross and let me just show you whoops um and gross and just ugh. like I don't know if you can tell I'm it's like and the brush is horrible and e e I mean it works if you really needed to use it mm, I wouldn't know if it gets like this it's pointless as far as them, some just dry up after a while, like, um, I know that, I know there's a couple other ones that do the same thing. They, if you, they just dry up, but this is, like, a couple weeks after I bought it. It's been a while, like, a couple months, like, the beginning of the year, but still, it shouldn't dry. This is Revlon. I have never gotten Revlon before, or Revon, Revlon. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, but, as far as Revlon goes, it's pretty good, but... I hate it. It stained my nails green, and it's still a little green from it. I don't know if you can tell on this camera, but it's green a little, and that's not good. I don't like when my nails stain. The red ones stained it too, but red, you can expect that to stain. Green, though? I mean, yeah, but I use this green all the time. It never stains. It shouldn't stain. It, like, stained green, dark green, and this isn't even dark green. I actually painted my nails red and green for one day, and it stained it horribly. Um... So yeah, that's about all the nail polishes I have for today, but I actually am running out of space on my um, camera, so I have to wrap things up right now, but I also actually, speak of it, have a couple, I paint my nails gel sometimes because I love gel, but I actually have a salon, sensation, it's called sensation nail, <laughs> sensation nail, my camera keeps cutting off, I'm sorry, sensation nail gel salon, this lights up and it's a UV light not LED, so, or it's, I mean, it's LED, not UV, because UV apparently can give you cancer. It can't, but people freak out about it, so don't worry about this. If you want to get it to the drugstore for, like, 25 bucks, it's expensive, but it's worth it. There is Raspberry Wild. I can't show you it. It's in a bottle, and I don't want to bother. It literally looks like that, but, um, get it for yourself if you want to try it out. I'll end up putting those on a video to help show you what those look like, but, um, I mean... I just realized I probably haven't been looking into the camera this whole video, so I really do apologize for that. I have a mirror behind it this time, and I don't know if you can see me looking at the mirror. I think you can. Well, I'm not recording this again. True fact, I actually did this whole video before, but 
I was out of focus the whole video, except when I was showing close-up shots of the nail polishes, so... Yeah. So, like I said, I have to wrap things up. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, it, I really, I found out that I think I want to do stuff with nails. I think I want to do my nails more often on videos and stuff. And also, I might give you, like, a makeup tutorial, or you know, I'll do foundation with brushes. Actually, I'll show you my... Okay, I'm back, actually. I got these brushes today for five bucks. It came with five different brushes. Glam and Beauty, they're called. Um, I don't know if they're good. I can't tell. I like it because it makes my foundation look so much clearer and just better in general. I don't know if you can see. It looks a lot better than it does when you do it by hand. Um, gosh, I hope that's in focus. But here's what they look like. Is that in focus? Yeah. Anyway, they, it's dark, so it's hard to see on this camera, but they're very soft, and, um, it's glam and beauty. Can't see that either. It's probably not in focus, but oh well. And then just these tiny little brushes for every tiny little detail you want to do, or eyeshadow. I know this probably isn't, ooh, <laughs> probably isn't for eye, probably isn't for eyeshadow, but I use it on my eye anyway, because I find that it works better for eyeshadow. I'm not going to put eyeshadow on right now. I don't... By the way, my camera keeps dying because, um, it's out of space, I think. Um, but, so yeah, those are the new brushes I got today. Um, I'm hoping I can save up to get better brushes, but I don't know if I have the money. Well, I do right now, actually. I just had my birthday the other day, and I got a bunch of money from that. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe. Like this, too. If you don't like it, don't dislike it, or dislike it, I don't know. Just comment what you think I should do for my next video. I think I want to do more nails and stuff. But, and nail tricks, because I'm, I like to say I'm pretty decent at painting nails, but I don't know. That's like one of those things I'm proud of being able to do. So, this is it. See you guys next time. Bye.